Well, you probably clicked on this video because you're a gamer like me, and you're considering living in a van, but you're worried about leaving your passion for gaming behind. Well, boy, do I have news for you. I've been living and traveling and gaming inside my van for the past two years, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I get internet inside my van and how exactly I power my PC gaming setup. Bad, 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 bad to the bone. Bad to the bone. Everybody know that I'm bad to the bone. Bad to the bone. Bad to the bone. Everybody know that I'm bad to the bone. So before we start, I just want to say that I am not a computer expert whatsoever. There are so many things that I should have done differently about my gaming and editing setup, but I didn't because, again, I am not an expert, and what I did just sort of works for me. Also, I am not a licensed electrician, so please take whatever I say about solar power and power consumption, take it with a grain of salt, please, and do your own research before you dive deep into installing a solar system in your van or working with any sort of electrical components in your van. Now, with that out of the way, let's talk about my gaming station. So, under this beautiful desk here, I'm actually powering two computers. One of those computers I actually use for work, which I do editing, visual effects, graphic design, and the other computer is strictly for gaming. So my work computer is actually a Mac Mini M1, and the reason I went with the Mac Mini is because not only do I just love working on Mac OS for work, doing editing, graphic design, and visual effects, but the Mac Mini M1's processing power is so much higher than its power consumption. Now, when this Mac Mini is firing on all pistons, I believe at max it pulls 80 watts, which is absolutely nothing for the processing power that it has. Now, as far as my gaming PC, some of you PC master race elitists out there are probably gonna give me a hard time for this one, but I promise you, after living and gaming in a van for the past two years and doing a bunch of trial and error with PC gaming setups, I promise you that this is the best setup you can have in a van when it comes to PC gaming. Now, with that being said, I game on a gaming laptop. This is a 15 inch razor blade with an i7 processor and a 2070 Max-Q with 16 gigs of RAM. And this bad boy can run any of my favorite titles at max quality, no issue. And best of all, because it's a laptop, it takes up little to no room in my van. And when you're living in such a confined space like a van, every single inch matters. I used to live in a van with a full-size gaming tower, and of course it ran everything great, but the downside of that was it took up so much space and it used so much power. And with a gaming laptop, I store it in this drawer under my desk, and I, I barely know it's even there. And on top of that, it consumes a fraction of the power that a gaming tower would use. So for me, a gaming laptop was just a win-win for me, so I had to go for it, and I have not looked back since. So how do I power two computers in my van? Well, that answer is a little complex and it really deserves a whole entire video in itself. And I plan to make that video really soon, but until then, I'm gonna give you guys sort of a dumbed down version of exactly how I provide power for my whole gaming station. Essentially, I have two solar panels mounted on the roof of my van. Each one of them is 300 watts for a total of 600 watts of solar panels. Those solar panels capture energy from the sun and then transfer that energy to two batteries that are under the bed of my van. And from those batteries, that power gets sent to an inverter. And basically what an inverter does, it inverts DC power, which is the power that the solar panels generate, and it inverts it to AC power, which is the same type of power your house has. And having an inverter hooked up to your battery bank allows you to not only hook up household outlets within your van, but it allows you to plug your computer into your power bank so your computer is now powered off of the sun, which is insane. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering how long I can game on my computer with my solar setup. Well, there is an equation that tells you exactly how long you can run an appliance based off of your battery bank. And first, what you wanna do is convert your battery bank's amp hours 
to watt hours. And the way you do that, you add up your amp hours of your battery bank, multiply it by 12 volts, and that gives you the watt hours. And from there, you can divide how much your computer pulls, in my case, it's 230 watts, by the watt hours of your battery bank, and the result tells you how long you can power your appliance. In my case, I have two 310 amp hour batteries in my battery bank, which equates to 620 amp hours. However, AGM batteries, you don't wanna discharge them lower than 50%. So really, I have 310 amp hours to work with. So, with that being said, in the equation that I gave you earlier, so I multiply 310 by 12 volts, and that gets me 3,000 720 watt hours. So I then can take the watt hours of my battery bank, which is 3,720, and divide that by the power consumption of my gaming computer, which is 230 watts, and that gives me about 16 point blah, 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 blah. And essentially what that means, I can game on my laptop for about 16 hours when there's no sun whatsoever. Now the only issue I've ever run into is when I've had too many cloudy days consecutively. And that's an issue because that means my solar panels can't generate power from the sun because it simply can't see the sun. And if it can't generate power from the sun, it can't charge my batteries. And if my batteries aren't charged, it can't power my computer. So I installed a secondary way to charge my batteries, and that is a voltage sensing relay battery isolator. And basically what that does, it connects my starter battery of my van to my solar batteries. And when my van is turned on, basically the alternator of my van is able to charge my solar batteries up while I'm driving. So if I've had too many cloudy days consecutively, I just go on a little road trip, drive for a couple of hours, and my solar batteries are charged all the way up. So basically what I'm getting at is I could literally game for as long as I want in my van and I have no issues and it's freaking awesome. So, the moment that you've all been waiting for, how the mother freaking frick do I get internet inside of my van in such remote places? Well, my friends, I wish I had the perfect solution for you, but I truly don't. It's 2021 and the technology honestly isn't quite there yet. However, I am able to game online off-grid for the most part. And here's how I do it. Essentially, I have two Verizon hotspots, and each of those Verizon hotspots have unlimited data. And if you know Verizon, you know their unlimited data plan isn't really unlimited. After about 30 gigs of their unlimited data plan, they start throttling your speeds to a very painful amount. And for me, after gaming for about two weeks on my monthly plan, I usually run out of my data plan and they start throttling my speeds. However, for whatever reason, I'm able to play World of Warcraft and watch Netflix just fine, even when they throttle my speeds. Now, if that internet solution isn't enough for you, there is an alternative. I have a few van friends that use a cell provider called Visible, and apparently this cell provider has true unlimited data. And the best part about it is they use Verizon towers, so anywhere that you would have Verizon signal, you would have Visible signal. And essentially what you would do, you would get a SIM card from Visible, install it in this MoFi router, I believe it's called, and you would have internet in your van and have true unlimited data. Now, this isn't something I've tested, so I can't vouch for it completely, but I would love to test it eventually and if this video gets 10,000 views this is something I will invest in and I'll try it out and I'll do a video about it so you guys can see if it truly does work because I'm interested too I mean that would be really cool if that works but if it doesn't I think we're just gonna have to wait on Starlink so let's talk about Starlink why am I not using Starlink in my van well Starlink is still in beta and even if you were to get beta access right now Starlink is region locked and if you were to get the package that Starlink sends you, you wouldn't be able to leave a certain area, which is no good for me because I'm constantly on the move. And as far as I know, Starlink started as a way to provide internet for people that are in remote areas that have no access to good internet. So I believe that that is their number one focus right now. And until that is perfected, I don't see them focusing on the mobile aspect of Starlink anytime soon, at least within the next couple of years. So as far as I know, either Verizon hotspots or the visible hotspot is the way to go. Well, there you have it guys. That's exactly how I provide internet in my van and how I power my gaming setup. I hope you guys found this video very informative. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe because I will be releasing more videos on my gaming setup and my van life journey every week. So stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.